from time to time glider flights end with an out landing. But let's have a closer look at my final glide and the difficulties of that day. We still have about 100 km back home to Dory Airfield. The conditions are fine, good ridge lift generated by 30 kph of westerly wind and there is enough sun hitting the ground. So also the thermals should be fine. During this flight I will show you guys the target direction with the red line from time to time. This should help you for the orientation and to better understand the flying tactics. Furthermore, I will display tactical options with the letter A, B and C. And I will try to explain why I have chosen one specific option. Also for me it is not always easy to describe why I have chosen one option. Often these are intuitive decisions during the flight. So I would be really glad to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. To better understand which decision you relate to, you guys can use the number displayed in the top right corner. Let's start with the first option. As you can see at the left side there's our target and we have some nice looking clouds, perhaps it's even a cloud street. In the middle we have one single cloud but after this cloud there are not enough other clouds so yeah we need to have a focus also on the um, clouds and the weather conditions more far away. And at the right side we have a nice ridge and we have the wind generating great lift there. It is a little bit of deviation, but I think that's all fine. So let's continue on the ridge. Only a few minutes later the weather conditions have completely changed. The clouds are more compact now and as you can see also on the shadow on the ground there are no gaps in between these clouds. So now we really need to make a quick decision if we want to continue below the shadow on the ridge or if we want to move into the sun to the left side and thermal there. I think the better option is option A because we have seen that the ridge is working pretty well. So if we continue here for at least 20 more kilometers on the ridge we should have a high average speed which is good for our competition flight. But we should also take into consideration to fly a little bit higher so that we have some options if the wind is getting weaker or if we want to glide out into the sun. Especially at the end of this well-formed ridge we should be as high as possible so that we can glide into the sun and to get a good thermal. Perhaps it was not the smartest decision to fly here into the lee of the mountain but I thought it's the more direct way and yeah the sink rate was not too bad.
right now it looks like we are in a little bit better situation because we have more altitude and also the weather conditions have improved slightly so there's some more light getting onto the ground and also the shape of the cumulus clouds have improved so for glider pilots it's easier to imagine where to find lifts below these cumulus clouds due to our height we have two nicer options now option a is to fly to the left hand side and try these cumulus clouds if there are some lifts option b is to fly to the right hand side and continue the ridge as we did before my personal feeling is to try these lifts at the left hand side because then we get the feeling if there's thermal activity if not we can just fly back onto the ridge if there, is some, if there are some thermals, then we get the feeling where to find thermals uh, in position to the cloud and also how good the climb rate is, so how fast we can continue our flight. Um, yeah, If it does not work, then we can just fly back to this higher mountain in about 5 kilometers and get more height on the ridge lift there. So there is no possibility for an outlanding right now. But after these five kilometers, we really need to make a decision if we want to continue our flight straight back home without too much deviation. So there we need to fly uh, above this valley and use some thermals to continue. Or if the thermals are really bad now, then we can just continue on the ridge. But the ridge is getting lower and lower and also the deviation is really big there. So it's only an option to stay airborne for a longer period of time and yeah perhaps the weather changes a little bit or there's more sun or so but it would be the slower option if there are thermals on the direct way back home Yeah, as you can see, um, I did not really stick onto my plan, so I did something in between option A and option B. Um, was not sure what's the better option and did something in between. Yeah, don't know if it was really that bad, but um, yeah. And now I'm getting lower and lower. Um, I tried to find some thermals. I tried fly more to the left hand side more to the right hand side and so on to cover more area below these clouds because it's not easy to to judge where there are th some thermals from these spread out clouds and yeah but I need to have some more plans and try some more things otherwise I will make an out landing The local pilots told me that the swamp ahead of us is a really good thermal source and that there's a swamp monster in there which generates the best thermal of the day. So that was the plan to try to get into this area and to find there a good lift. Uh, but I'm getting lower and lower and also the sun, there is some sun on the ground but not too much and it is hard to decide which cloud looks good and also in this height it is difficult to um, decide where to find a climb below a cloud. Honestly, I'm not sure if I should turn here or not. Um, I have some good climbs, but they they don't last too long and also the feeling is not properly there. So I think if I make a turn, then uh, the climb rate will decrease and I will not be able to have a good overall average climb rate there.
Is this the swamp monster here? Let's see. But it looks like I found the swamp monster. Yeah. I don't know, it was not the best thermal. I, it took me too long to core it to find the center of the thermal. And yeah, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes the pilot is not perfect. Come on, one turn and it's over. That was really an important thermal. I was able to climb there nearly to the cloud base and you can also see this huge swamp and the nice beautiful nature. Yeah, that's the next good thermal. It was really hard to find that one. Um, I tried so many other clouds before. Unfortunately, I did not record all this, or the complete fine glide here. But yeah, I can climb here up to the cloud base, but um, we need some more height to get back home. So we need more thermals. Uh, let's hope that we will find one and don't need to make an odd landing. They are the first rain showers and there's no sun getting on the ground. I will try to thermal here to get some more height, but it's still not enough.
I'm really glad that I made it to the cloud base and the height should be enough to fly back home. But now it's starting to rain and the rain will increase the drag of the glider and decrease the performance of the glider. So that's really not easy to estimate how much it will decrease and if I will arrive at the airfield. Also the outlanding possibilities are not great ahead of us. Now I can decide to fly more to the left hand side. There are nice outlanding fields, but ahead of us, um, yeah, it's not too easy to opt for an outlanding. I hope you enjoyed this type of gliding video and perhaps learned something about flying tactics during a competition flight like that. So give it a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't and see you next time.